Reminder, this video will show extremely graphic pictures which might not be suitable for sensitive persons. What would you do if you had to live with these scars of a war? Hi guys, if you like our content, please like this video, share, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on all notifications. Empty streets, destroyed buildings, pavement cut with shell fragments. This is what Kharkiv, Bucha and other cities in Ukraine looks like today. Bucha, Ukraine, many of these photos are from the Bucha area. Bucha is where the first mass graves were found of victims shot in the head with their hands tied behind their backs. So, first there was the battle for Bucha. Now there's the battle to rebuild Bucha. As Russian forces retreated from their bloody incursion into Bucha, a suburb on the northwest edge of Kiev, the locals focus on rebuilding in the smallest ways possible. Maybe by simply cleaning up one street as a start. Russia's invasion of Ukraine is probably the most documented war ever. Citizens, public officials and soldiers have posted photos and videos every day that show the dead bodies and neighborhoods. Show the trails of missiles streaking through the skies and the smoldering ruins of entire towns. In one man's own words, I saw the Russian tanks roll in, and I saw them shooting down this street he said. I saw this war unfold outside my living room window before my very own eyes he added. When I realized that I'd be a dead man very soon, I ran into my cellar. When I realized I might not be safe there, I ran across the street. As journalists walk through the cities, which had been under enemy fire since the early days of the Russian invasion, they can still hear explosions around. Some people are still trying to live a quasi-normalcy by passing by historic areas and a few local residents still visit the park. In the legendary 108-meter structure of Dursprom, windows were partially smashed by a shock wave. There are many of them, covering an area of 50,000 square meters. It is Europe's first skyscraper built from cast-reinforced concrete at a record pace, from 1925 to 1928. There are many residential houses destroyed on the central streets of the city. A reminder that, on February 24, 2022, Russia initiated a full-scale invasion of Ukraine starting a new phase in its armed aggression which had lasted since 2014. Russian troops are bombarding and shelling Ukrainian cities and villages causing mass terror against civilians within the temporarily occupied areas. The Russian military has destroyed over 2,000 residential houses in the city of Kharkiv alone since February 24, 2022, and 25 to 30 percent of them can no longer be reconstructed. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe.